Previously on Survivor. After being left out of the vote by Mitch and Greg, Regan and Autumn found themselves on the bottom of the Orlapiri tribe and spent the rest of the week scrambling for answers as to why their alliance crumbled. At the immunity challenge, Orlapiri somehow managed to come together and built a sizable lead over Maramira. However, as fate would have it, a late blunder by Mitch allowed Maramira to somehow fight their way back into winning their third straight challenge. In anticipation of a swap, the new four of Greg, Mitch, Jake, and Allison set their sights on targeting Regan, of whom was perceived to be the more threatening of her pair with Autumn. Seeing that their original alliance was no more, Autumn and Regan changed course and hoped to flip Jake and Allison against Mitch in an effort to break up one of the most powerful duos in the game. Unfortunately, their words had fallen on deaf ears, as at Tribal Council, the girls fell victim to a 2-2-2 vote split, whereby in the revote, Regan was eliminated unanimously, 3-0. With Orlapiri drawing dead and seemingly at the mercy of Maramira, something's ought to change. Tonight, find out if the Orlapiri 5 can somehow rewrite the narrative, or if one of them will be the next to go. went about as expected. I mean, always when your name comes up like that. I mean, I was a little bit nervous, but I had faith that, you know, my alliance was gonna, you know, execute the plan as, as you know, we decided. So, the plan coming in was that Allison and I would vote for Autumn, Mitch and, uh, and Jake would vote for Regan, and then we figured Regan and Autumn would vote together. We just did that because we were worried Regan might have an idol. Uh, it worked out fine, she didn't play an idol, or maybe she didn't have one. She, did, she definitely didn't play it, obviously. Uh, so, it's good, because I know I can trust uh, Allison and Jake and Mitch now, uh, that's two votes we've worked together and both times it's gone completely as planned, so I feel good with, the, with that four. I don't think Regan was entirely sure it's going to be her, but it's always fun to have that, you know, little blindside in there. Hopefully this will be a strong five in the next challenge. Um, that's part of the reason why we voted her out, is because we think Autumn is more willing to work with us, so we'll see. How do you feel like a little bit on the outs? Like, I mean, obviously, Regan was like one of my <laughs> closest people on this tribe, so like it sucks to see her go, but at the same time, you guys had some really bad vibes going, so. So, Regan's gone, which sucks because she was like my closest person on this tribe, like I could trust her with anything. Now that Regan's gone, it kind of kills the whole Graham Cracker alliance, which was already dead, which is like fine, and I knew that, and she knew that, but like now it's even more so divided where it's like, do I go back to like Mitch and Greg at this point or do I try to like hook up with Jake and Allison? Like I'm the only one without a person now and it's really lonely. Fresh start. We're gonna win next season. I thought we had a strong six and then we have a stronger five. Yeah. <laughs> that's the reason that's one of the reasons why we like kept you around. We definitely think that you're you know better fit like moving forward. <laughs> Yeah, so it really sucks. Do I think that it was smart on Jake and Allison's part to vote her out? No, not at all. But um, I'm not surprised. It's kind of frustrating that they didn't see that, and they definitely made a mistake. And personally, I trust all of you, I think. Yeah, yeah I trust all of you. I know. Exactly, so. yeah. I no cool. hard feelings yeah. after that. Sweet. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> so that tribal went smooth. I mean, it was a little bit complicated than usual, but it went pretty smooth. We all knew the plan. We all executed the plan well. I just, I was a little cocky when I was signing off on Regan's name just because she had the chance to work with me last week. I was full on ready to work with her and go forward with that, but I mean, I, 
feel like I'm in a position where I definitely trust Greg and Mitch more than I trust Reed and Autumn, but hopefully Autumn isn't too mad at us and she kind of understands why we split the vote. Like it wasn't, we didn't never wanted to get her out. It was just like a plan B if Regan somehow found the idol. Well, so I mean, hopefully this challenge goes well. Although I'm super nervous that there's a tribe swap or something coming up, and I just feel like I finally got my footing in a little bit here. So if we were to do something crazy, I'm just gonna be lost once again. So, episode three down, episode four, I'm gonna make it through. All right, day before challenge. Uh, day of, of challenge day four. Of. Sneaking in this meeting before the fourth challenge. Yeah. yeah. Um, probably all a little worried about it, but yeah, that's definitely the main concern now about what's gonna start happening. Some crazy stuff. Um, it's the night of the fourth immunity challenge, a little bit before the challenge, and I had a meeting with my four strong alliance. So there's a lot of uh, things that are up in the air going into the challenge tonight. Mainly concerns about swaps or complete tribe switch ups. Who knows what? That's gonna, we're just gonna have to play that by ear because I can't control that. But I do know that if we do lose tonight, our ducks are in a row and we're taking down Kelly at the next tribal council. Yeah, so we for sure know if we do we, lose, we want to go for Kelly. Kelly. Okay. Yeah. But, and then um, you and I can be with Spencer and get him in our he's, I can guarantee you, really? he's, 100, he's like 150%. I'm so concerned she might have an idol. Yeah, But if she's like 100% certain that she's safe, oh, yeah, exactly. she might She'll never. Yeah, so like as right long now, as she does from, not find out. From what you've been saying, it seems like you, you guys make her feel that she's she like in control. She's for sure. Because yeah. okay. I want Kelly and Alex to think that we're voting out Brooke. Okay. Actually, I don't really care what Alex thinks. I want Kelly to think that we're voting out Brooke. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I do have a little bit of a worry that Brooke and Kelly have to be working together because no one has heard from Brooke. No one in our Four Strong Alliance. Nobody in my fake four alliance, which is me, Alex, si and Simon, and Kelly, and Spencer says he hasn't, that leaves Brooke all by herself. I can't imagine she's dumb enough to be out there by herself without having meetings, having a couple close alliances. I know I haven't heard a word from Brooke. I have not either. I'm kind of worried. Okay, Alex says she hasn't talked to anybody except me, Simon, and Kelly. I'm kind of nervous that Kelly and Brooke might be working together and they might come after me. Kelly might be playing me the same way I'm playing her. I don't really think she is. But that's a possibility. Uh, I'm not too concerned though because I know that we have the votes to get rid of Kelly if it goes to tribal, and she's gonna feel safe. Kelly, I think Kelly might be talking to Brooke, which um, she seemed all right with going after her though. But I know that they had like driven together to a couple challenges, but she seemed all right with going after Brooke. I don't see us losing. I hope we don't lose. Soon. Yeah. Yeah. Unless he switches up the traps. I know, I, I don't want to drop off. We talked about a tribe swap and how um, it would be important for us to use that connection I have with Mitch and whoever his alliances are to get all of us to the merge. But of course, the four of us are going to team up for as long as we can. We would, we ideally want to be the last four people standing. I, if that does happen, I want to meet with us four, and I'm going to bring Mitch and whoever he has, no matter how the tribes fall. Because I just want all of us to have a spot to land if he does a swap. I say, I don't think you, just as long as he can keep he, us He safe. will be loyal until the merge. Right, just that's, that's, all, that's, that's all we need. need. Hmm. I think we're going to try to swap, even though I always thought it was going to be on an even one. I think we're going to try to swap, which does not look good for me. Because I love our tribe, or I don't love our tribe. I love the setup I have with our tribe between me, Simon, Nick, Stephanie, and then Spencer. We're perfectly set up to just roll through the game right now and then if we get split up that's not gonna be good for anyone because we'll end up needing someone to flip for the other tribe and i really don't want to scramble i've had a nice easy game we'll just keep my alliance together and just rolling with them but i'm concerned i'm not looking forward to what's going to happen in the future in the very near future actually Alright, welcome 
that guy. It's been a long, I haven't seen you guys in a week. How have we been? Yeah, very good. Good. Slow. Awesome. Well, good to have you guys back. We got a good challenge for you, all of you tonight. As you see, Regan put it off at the last round of Council for Olapiri. Down to five versus eight. So today's challenge, I mean, you guys lose today, we're down to four. That's concerning. So, with that, I hope you both brought your A game for today. With that, let's take immunity back, right? I don't want to give it back. I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, immunity is back up for grabs. But before I get to the explanation of today's challenge, we have one little thing that we want to implement as a little, I guess, reward for Orla Perry today. So, I brought the urn with me. Voting urn. Something you guys haven't seen yet before. Orla Perry seen it a couple times now. So, Orla Perry today, to give you guys a little leg up, you guys obviously have to sit out some players today. Orla Perry. I want you guys one by one, you're going to come up to this voting urn and vote out one person from their tribe to sit out of today's challenge. You get to choose who it is. Other than that, it can't be Kelly and it cannot be Brooke. They sat out of last challenge. Otherwise, it can be anyone that you guys choose. So with that, we're gonna get right into that vote. All right? All right, Mitch, you're first. his vote. And with that, for the first time, someone on Marmira will be voted out. <laughs> or Lapiri, on the count of three, I want you to show me your votes. Three, two, one, reveal. He's upside down on him. I have Stephanie, Nick, Ryan, Nick, and Nick. It's a vote of three, one, one, Nick. We'll be sitting out of this challenge. Nick, come on up. And with that, we will move on to the other room to discuss the rest of the strategy revolving around this challenge and who else will be sitting out. Cool? All right, let's do that. from our Amira, five of you from Olapiri. Drop your buffs, we are swapping tribes today. So, the way that this is going to work, all of the girls I would like on this side over here, all of the guys on the far side, just group over there, and then I'll explain how everything's gonna work with the draw, okay? <laughs> all right, so, six girls, six guys, the 12 of you will be picking a new tribe today. The girls will each receive three chips of each color. So three chips that correspond to Maramira, three chips that correspond to Orla Piri. The same for the guys. You guys will be split in half by gender. We'll have three guys, three girls per tribe. Nick, since you are not going to be participating in this challenge, you will be sitting out and not be on either tribe. And Nick will be joining the losing tribe from today, after they vote out the fourth person from this game. Sound good? You put me on a losing tribe? <laughs> Unfortunately. <laughs> that hurts. So, we're gonna get on with the draw. The draw is completely random, but again, we're splitting you right in half by gender. So, with that being said, we'll get right to that draw. All right? Autumn, reach on in. Yeah, well, it's in there. You got it? Well, harder than it looks. Close your eyes. Good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 Alright. 
did you just pick? I just picked it. And the last is for you, buddy. Thanks. It's right in the middle there. All right, everyone, eyes closed, hands closed. All right, once again, you guys can open your eyes, do not open your hands. If you have a red chip in your hand, you will be joining the Orlapiri tribe. If you have a white chip in your hand, you will be joining the Maramira tribe on this side. With that, take your hand, flip it over, and reveal. Take a look at where you are, and let's see what happens. Head on over to your sides. You can talk, Jesus! Let's go, yellow! Welcome to Orlapiri. Yeah, you're the only one with the greatest track record. Uh, <laughs> but we're about to flip it around. We, we got, got our chant after we kick off the girl that <laughs> knew our chant. We're going to switch it up anyway. That's perfect. Okay. Yeah. All right, Nick, come on up here with me. Nick, come on up here with me. Let's take a look at these new tribes. All right. On the new Maramir tribe, Simon, Stephanie, staying where they are, joined by Autumn, Allison, Mitch, and Greg. On the other side, Jake moving over to the other side along with five original Mara Mira. Nick, one of those tribes is yours, but we're about to find out whose it is after this challenge. So I'm gonna give you guys a minute to introduce yourselves if you haven't already, get to know each other, and we'll get going with the challenge, all right? Cool, let's do it. Get dressed in your buffs. Sorry, I need me. Greg, Jake, Allison, Autumn, Stephanie, Simon. Alright. Simon, Stephanie, Yes. What was that? Jake. Jake. So I didn't want to Wait, you're a senior. I'm not the old one anymore! I'll, there were a few people in our tribe that were seniors. I was they the only left. one. <laughs> they all left. They all left. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> there were four siblings. Not a good track This one smells like winning, so I don't think winning. And who needs another one? Guys, you can't win this because this color is the winning color. It is. This color is not lost. <laughs> we need you to like shimmy all your backpack. Like I'm just. <laughs> this looks like straight, straight up. They got four fifths on it. Pure stellar. Pure stellar. I feel like we're definitely stronger than this. I think we are too. I know. I like this. This is a squad. No, I think we are too. I'm feeling. Wait. I have red paint and I have yellow paint. We, we can make it. quick paint orange. We did it. Primary colors. So we're back in the yellow. Ryan, Alex, Kelly. Jake. 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 Good Jake. job, guys. Jake. From State Jake. Farm? <laughs> Alright, so, with these new tribes, we still have a challenge to run today. So, for today's challenge, on the first day, Raphael, who's no longer with us, read a note. The note said, to be observant, to take in all of what is around you. And you could take that any way that you want, to be honest. Were you looking around for something specific? Were you just taking in the general surroundings for some reason? Were you meeting with people? You could take that time for anything. Today, we test your observance and how much you paid attention to detail on that first day. Today's challenge is a trivia-based challenge. We have a list of questions that we will present to both tribes. You guys will reveal your, tri your tribe answer together and if you are correct, you will earn an opportunity to shoot a tennis ball. We're basically playing Survivor Pong. So, you will shoot from behind this table here, and you will throw into one of these buckets. Each row is worth a certain amount of points. The first row is worth five, the second row is worth 10, third row is worth 15, the back is worth 30. So, however many trivia questions you answer correctly, is the amount of throws you get, and whichever tribe gathers the most points at the end of all of their questions will win immunity and will survive the first swap tribal council. Easy enough, right? Cool. With that, we'll give you a minute to strategize and we'll get started. All right? There's five people playing basketball. Five, six, six. How many tables are in the pavilion? Yeah, like four. Or the period. Or the period. That was my first confession. One, two, three. Honor! Mario Mira on three. One, two, three. Mario Mira! Cool. All right, so joining me up here is Mr. Aaron Schifrin. Aaron is on exec with me. And Aaron and I will be choosing your questions for this challenge. 
So, Nick, since you were not chosen for a tribe, you'll be sitting out and watching from the background. But you will be safe this week. So, with that, question number one. How many tables were there in the pavilion where you guys started this whole game? Talk amongst yourselves. I think there was 38. Drives to reveal. Three, two, one. Reveal. Maramira says six, seven for Orla Period. The correct answer is six. Maramira scores. All right. Moving on to the second question. We're going to talk about the pavilion again, where you guys started, but now we're going to talk above ground. How many fans were there above you in said pavilion? <laughs> I told you, be observant. We're gonna reveal in three, two, one. We got three from our Amira, two for a period. The correct answer was four. Both tribes are incorrect. Neither tribe gets a point. True or false, you got a 50% chance at this one. The playground in the vicinity of the pavilion where you started was scarlet and gray in color. Five, four, three, two, one. False from our Amira, false for all appear. The correct answer is false. It was scarlet and brown. Moving on. The color of the flowers around the flagpoles at the pavilion, what were they? There were two colors. What were they? I want both. Pink and orange from Aramira, yellow and pink for Orla Piri. The correct answers, pink and white. Both tribes, incorrect. Do we give a point? You wanna give one to each? Yeah. Let's give one to each. One point to each tribe, please. <laughs> Moving on. True or false, there were two emergency blue lights in the vicinity of the pavilion. In five, four, Three, two, one, reveal. False from our Amira. True for Lapiri. The correct answer is false. There was only one. Our Amira with another point. There were baseball fields around you. What were the numbers of said baseball fields? Three, two, one, reveal. <laughs> That's what you said to write. <laughs> we got one through four from Aramira, five through nine for Orla Piri. The correct answer is one through four. Aramira, that's another point. As you walked through this path between the baseball fields, you may have seen the distance to left and right field. What was the distance to left and right field for those two baseball fields? Reveal in five, Four, three, two, one. Reveal. We have 315 for Maramira, 290 for Lapiri. Both tribes are incorrect. The correct answer was 300. So, let's give you another chance because I like this distance question. What was the distance to center field on both fields? Three, two, one. Reveal. 350 for Maramira, 315 for Orla Piri. The correct answer is 315. Orla Piri. Oh. You guys had it last time. How many flagpoles were there in the center of the park? The number of flagpoles in the center of the park in three, two, one. Reveal. Three for Maramira, three for Orla Piri. Both tribes are correct. Their answer is three. Let's stick with those flagpoles. 
Let's make it more interesting. You'll get one point for each of them that you list off. What were the flags? Three, two, one, reveal. OSU, Ohio, and US from Aramira. USA, Ohio, and Prisoners of War for Royal Beery. Aramira has all three correct. You guys got two out of three. Three points from Aramira, only two for Royal Beery. As you guys walk past these flagpoles, there were some basketball courts. How many were there? I can't believe they had 16 right. basketball courts. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're going to reveal. Both tribes say two, both tribes are correct. Point for each tribe. What color were the basketball courts? They were two colors. Three, two, and one. Reveal, please. Both tribes scribble something down. Hey, Kelly, Kelly, show me. You said scribble something down. Well, Gary writes a G. <laughs> And we got green and red from Aramira. We got one of them, but unfortunately we're not giving partial credit here. Scarlet and gray, Ohio State. Jesus. All right, moving on. In front of Pressy Hall, there was a certain number of bike racks. How many bike racks were in front of Pressy Hall? We're going to give a point to whichever tribe gets closest. Six and 16. The correct answer is 10. Maramira is closer. Moving on. So, we talk about Pressy Hall, a couple other buildings around you as well. We're going to give a point for each building that you can name that was directly surrounding you upon arrival at the kickoff location. Reveal. Beavis and Pressy is not a valid answer. We told you that. The Greenhouse and Smith. Wow. Each tribe gets one point for Beavis. Besides that, y'all are all wrong. Jeez. All right, moving on. Let's talk about specifics with the contestants that were around you. We asked you guys to show up in Buckeye colors, right? Scarlet and gray. How many of you came wearing scarlet shirts? The closest one, we get a point. Three, two, and one. Reveal. Twelve from Aramira. Oh. <laughs> oh, shit. Is that a 13? That's a, yes, 13. That's a 13 for Royal Fury. The correct answer, you're both very close. The correct answer is 11. It's a point for Mara Mira. It was a 3. It looked like a Yeah, whatever. Moving on. Who was the first person that we assigned a tribe to? Mara Mira says Autumn. Here he says Stephanie. They were the first two. However, the first was Otto. It's another point for Mira. How many of you guys came wearing a hat? You got two and three. The correct answer? Only one. Mira. Another point. We also asked you guys to give a little information about yourself to kick off. So I want to know who was the first person to formally introduce themselves to the rest of the cast. Both tribes say Brooke, the correct answer. Brooke, both tribes got it right. And with one question remaining. Nine points for Roland Peary. Mara Mira, we have 16. Last question. Listen to me very carefully. You are on one tribe in this question. How many total puzzle pieces did your tribe have to collect for all of the puzzles in the first challenge? We'll reveal in five, four, three, two, and one. Reveal. What is that? 28. That's a 28. 56. I told you to listen very carefully. One tribe does it. 28 is the correct answer. <laughs> Details. That's why you pay attention to them. With that, we have nine shots for Royal Apiri, 17 for Maramira, and we'll move right into the next stage of this challenge. Whoever scores the most points will take it away. Just because you guys have less doesn't mean you still can't win. 
So with that, let's get this challenge started. All right, let's be real. Once again, the media team is back up for grabs. With the second stage of the challenge, for Fury will take nine shots. For Amira, we'll take 17. Up first, for our Amira, Simon. We got Ryan for Olapiri. One at a time. You guys can go right ahead. Take your first shot, Simon. Right. Simon gets him in for 15 points. Ryan, you're up. <laughs> Ryan, in and out. Off the backboard. All right. Greg coming up from our mirror for their second shot. Greg misses. Ryan stayed. Ryan misses. Got zero points. 15 from Aramira. Mitch going from Aramira. Mitch throws. Mitch misses. Ryan going. Ryan throws. Yes, for sure. World Fury takes the lead. 30 to 15. Sign it up again from Armira. Let's do it. Simon misses. Ryan up for a period. In and out. All right. Simon going again from Armira. Let's go right in. Simon misses. Right, six one. 35-15. Mitch coming up from Armira. Let's do it. With three throws left for Olapiri, 11 left from Armira. Olapiri is in the lead. All right, who's up next from Armira? Allison coming up. Allison shoots, misses. Ryan, points. Simon's up. Simon, off the backboard, misses. Ryan misses. Will Peary with 50 points. Maramira with a mere 15. Maramira has many more shots to go. Simon, you're up. Simon six for five. Last shot. Ryan misses. Full of period. We'll have 50 points. He just has to hope. Lamar Mir misses. A miss for Simon. Simon misses again. Lamar Mir needs 30 points to tie it. He's going to get six shots to do it. Greg, you're up. Greg misses. Greg, the first. We got a tie game. Greg makes the shot. Marmir wins immunity. Greg misses. Three shots left. Community. Sending Orla Peary, different tribe, same man. The tribal council. Yeah. All right. We'll just go right into it. Why not? All right, guys. Cool. We had a lot of very physical, demanding challenges at first. This one was more just about your observance and your, de your attention to detail. And obviously that paid off. Amira, Mar Mira, come on up. Grab the community. There you go, Greg. Hey, I appreciate it. For the first time. For the first time, Greg, Autumn, Allison, Mitch, you will not be going to tribal council. Simon, Stephanie, still yet to go. Oil Perry, Jake, coming back with me. For the rest of the five of you, I will see you for the first time at tribal council, where whoever you vote off will be replaced by Nick. You guys have a couple days to figure out who that's going to be. I'll see you at Tribal, all right? Cool.
Well, uh, this kind of sucks. Um, when Greg had them all write down names and I saw they picked my name, I had a bad feeling. Uh, I just kind of had an idea Greg would pull something like this. Uh, main reason that bothers me, uh, tribes grow closer together when you compete. Any team grows closer together through competition. It uh, builds up cohesion. Uh, I miss out on that, so I'm a little bit behind the curve whichever tribe I go to. Uh, obviously now I'm going to Orla Piri, which seems to be the cursed tribe since they lost again, even though most of their tribe went over to Maramira. So that's a bummer. But um, I at least have Ryan, who is one of my closest allies. Uh, Kelly I was gunning for, but she thinks I'm close with her, so I might have to put, uh, hold off on going after Kelly. Spencer, I think I can get to vote with me. Um, Alex, I feel okay about. I don't know about Brooke. I haven't heard a word from her since this started. Um, I really hope they vote out Jake. That way it's just back to what we originally had. Minus Simon and Stephanie, which is unfortunate, but um, and I'm just overall quite upset about this whole situation. Okay, so Nick, as the person who sat out today, you won't be joining either tribe until after we'll hear about someone out. However, with that being said, sitting out does have a little bit of a twist associated with it. This is something that I need you to keep a secret until next challenge of Sunday. You have a decision to make. So. Everyone else assumes I'm going to that tribe. Um, I was told after the challenge that there's a twist that I could pick to switch tribes. You will be joining the Royal Piri tribe. However, if you are unhappy with the Royal Piri tribe and you want to switch, when you show up to the challenge, I will present that opportunity to you. Okay. If you accept that, someone on the Maramira tribe will be swapping with you to join Royal Piri. Right, as well. Now, I've been thinking about that a lot, and um, it's a big decision, cause, because uh, I don't know who would switch places with me. Now, here's the issue. If I get switched and they send Simon or Stephanie over, me and Simon or me and Stephanie are back in the same boat that they are right now, which is that they are highly outnumbered. But I also think it would be a way to protect Simon and Stephanie, who are two of my closer allies, because there's a, there are four of Orlapiri and two original Maramira on that tribe. So the odds are I would switch with an Orlapiri player. Uh, I've been going back and forth on that. I still don't know what I'm going to do. So that is your choice. If you choose not to, there is a slight consequence. Nothing drastic, but a little slight consequence. Okay. So it's a decision, depending on what your comfort level with your tribe is. So take a little time to figure out what you want to do with it gather whatever information you need to do with this week. But if you don't decide to do it, that's okay. But we want to present that opportunity to Slight you. Slight consequence. Slight consequence. Okay. Big decisions coming up here. Um, don't have to make any of them yet, which I'm thankful for. And uh, it's going to be an interesting day. Or an interesting upcoming week, I should say. Um, yeah, that's all I got. Gosh, I walked into the first room and it seemed like we weren't going to switch, which I was pretty positive we were coming into t tonight. So I was excited about that. Um, so we walked into that second lecture hall and I saw everyone drop the first two words and I said, son of a gun. Unfortunately, I opened my hand. Thankfully, I was still Mari Mira. I got my same buff, but uh, me and Stephanie are two to four, Marimira to Olapiri. So I don't like that those numbers, but thankfully we won. We'll see what happens. I got this. I don't know. It's gonna be it's gonna be interesting. Can I'm, gonna try to, I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to talk. We just checked and can I get your guys' numbers? Oh no, sure I did so wow, walking in and seeing drop your buffs on the board, I shed a tear. Like I hope you caught that on video because I was honestly devastated. Like I was so close with my tribe. I had a great alliance. Like I was freaking out that I was gonna be in the minority. And then once we had to draw a chip, I see that I am with Autumn, which at first got me like really excited, but then I see that I'm only with Simon from my old tribe. So I was in the minority. I was kind of scared that if we did lose that I would be a target but we did win the challenge and I was super, super stoked. But well, we were yeah. just saying that now since it's all I was doing really um, well Mara, Mara, and Jake, I feel I'm like that's gonna be an easy mind. vote. And then Nick's joining them, so then they're all gonna be Mara Mira. If Nick joins. Oh! Yeah. 
Well, we, we had the swap, obviously, which we all thought was coming. I thought actually would come after the next challenge because, I don't know, I felt like maybe we would be given a chance to win a challenge, but we, were, we, we got a swap, which obviously worked in my favor. Um, I'm feeling good about our new tribe, Marmira, mostly because it's basically everybody I know, and uh, Simon and Stephanie seem pretty cool, like, worked well together. Um, I'm just glad we won. <laughs> Text me. Yes. Yes. I will text a group oh, and like true. we can all just say our names. Yeah, because you'll have everyone's numbers. Exactly. Yeah, I've got everybody else's. So we just finished. We just got out of <laughs> So obviously with five on eight, I mean tribe swap was anticipated, but still it was a shock to walk into the room and like see everybody drop your buffs. Picking out the chips was very nerve wracking. I'm just like, as long as I'm with Greg, as long as we're with Greg that we got that solid two still going and Turns out I am with Greg and I'm on a really solid tribe. I am so psyched to be working with everybody. No, I was, I mean, this is the biggest change for me because like, you know, we kept losing, but like, as soon as I saw, I was so nervous. I'm like, I want a red chip because I thought I wanted to say, oh, I, I'm so glad I got that white chip. I looked through, I'm like, okay, me and Greg, who else we got? <laughs> I'm like, Simon, okay, we got a powerhouse here. So even though it's like the four of us from World of Fury moving on to Mario, I do already know Simon a little bit, so it's not really that I don't know him already. The only person I really don't know is Stephanie, and I still, I still have like good vibes from her, but just like I don't know about forming an alliance with her as of now. And obviously, you and I have like the connection through Nick, so um, I think definitely it's I think it's gonna be good that he's like on the other tribe because he could definitely like keep us in touch and we can for sure keep it this was pretty, pretty going yeah, strong. Definitely, um, and he won't be out after the first week for sure, so we'll still have him in two weeks. It's funny that uh, we lost Jake because we all decided to wear red to the to the challenge, and he was the only one who didn't wear red. So it was almost like karma for not wearing the red that you know we lost him. But I really like them to keep Jake around. Both I think he's good for them in challenges, and also he's good for us, obviously for um, you know keeping those ties from the original Oil Fury. Obviously, I I hope we'll be able to work with them sort of like across the tribes a little bit. But um, yeah, I'm still very happy with this tribe. It's, it's you know I'm very comfortable with. My strong four. I'm basically with my whole tribe, and then, you know, plus two more. So say we would have lost tonight. Shit. <sighs> you think Stephanie? Do you think I mean, my you... instinct was because I don't know her. So I mean, how do you feel about her? I trust her. You trust her? Yeah, I talked to her a couple times, but I don't know. Honestly, I've I've got so much stuff like just flying through my head right now. Like I'm just happy to have a first one. I haven't For thought sure. about anything like that yet so far, but um. Yeah, understandable. As of now, we got the first win with the new Marmir in the book. Um, slow guy. Yeah, baby, let's go. We're keeping them, keeping around. This is this is our this is our child. All right. <laughs> All right. We finally won a challenge. Like someone write this down, put it in history. Like Autumn Thompson won a challenge, not by herself, which makes it a little bit less fun. But still, like, my tribe won. Hi. <laughs> we're on the same team. Finally, we are on the same team. Um, I don't know. So I'm just excited because, like, tribe swaps changed the game completely. And, like, not going to lie, it was getting a little bit boring just, like, being on the same tribe. And, like, I was not excited when it originally happened. Like, you could probably see it on my face that I was just kind of, like not happy because it's always hard to leave relationships that you already have and like that you know but it ended up being not that bad because I got my old tribe back basically with the addition of Steph and Simon but yeah we are finally on the same team mm -hmm. um Steph is at a little bit of a disadvantage yep I was a little nervous it was only Simon and I obviously we we're close he was in my strong four but still the underdogs is the four old period in the majority I, I don't know how to react really like on the way home Stephanie was like why aren't you like more excited like we should be talking strategy right now because like we walked home by ourselves because like we live in the same house and um she was asking me all these questions like who can we vote out next that like isn't me or Simon blah 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 and I was like I don't know it already sucks because like listen like my whole tribe doesn't really like you um, Steph is kind of like, on the way back, she was asking me like where the cracks are in my tribe that she can kind of like sneak in and like keep herself and Simon from getting voted off and um, obviously like I was just kind of like 
up front with her and I was like, we don't really have a lot of cracks, um, because, like, our tribe has been through so much, we just, like, haven't, I don't know. I'm doing my best to save her as it is, but, like, in reality, like, it's probably pretty likely that she's gonna go home. And the fact that she thinks that I can just switch everyone on my team to like turn against each other and vote one of us off, like that's not gonna happen, so. But I don't know. Hopefully we just keep winning. I think yellow has like, I don't know. Yeah, some certain. kind of magic power because magic power. it has not lost yet. Or it's just <laughs> Stephanie, she's just so good at the challenges. I'm happy with my new tribe, like I think that it worked out the best that it could because like, I have the numbers, but like still, I just just don't want to be with Steph. I'm really sorry, Steph, but like it's just so much extra like complexity that I did not want. It's hard to like still be a good friend and also win this game at the same time. So I'm not happy that she's on my tribe as much as I acted like I was in the video with her. I don't know. I really just I don't know what to do. So it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. <laughs> Alright, So where to begin? So I'll say about the tribe swap. I'm a pessimist. I saw this coming. I know I'm not a lucky person. I said, you know what? It's gonna be me and Omar here. All my friends are gonna be on the other tribe. I'm alone. All my friends are on the other tribe. You know. You move on. I'm glad I'm here to keep the Orla period losing streak alive. I think if anyone should do it, it should be me. You know? I feel like I have underwhelmed many in each and every challenge, so it's good to be here. Going home to tribal. I feel like I belong there now, so. The original Marmir tribe after a first L. Hashtag yellow face. It hurts. <laughs> it hurts real bad. It's weird to say that. This is why Orla Perry has more L's in it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm not surprised there's a tribe swap team mashup that we knew. Something was coming, like you could tell, like we all had to be here, it was really important, and like I guess it works out well this way. At least we have more of the numbers. Um, um, I'm really glad Kelly's on my team. She's like the only one that I've really ever talked to, like one on one. Um, so I hope she and I can stay strong. I hope we just stay like old and are strong and we go just vote out Jake and get Nick back and keep our team of five strong. Jake left a little bit earlier than the rest of us, so he's Which not his here. Own fault. So I wonder what we're all thinking right now, right? Moderately bold hmm. with all brand new. Hmm. Yeah, the swap was not fun. I miss my tribe. First time losing is weird. No one's to fault for this losing the challenge, so I don't think we can vote off of a weak member or someone who made us lose. Um, but that being said, I think it's since it's five to one, Previous Mara Mira, I think, I think we're gonna try to vote Jake out. That's just my first thought, but I'm willing to hear other people out, hear other theories. I'm not thrilled about the idea at all, but I just wanna make sure that I'm safe. So right now we're thinking easy vote, Jake's out, get Nick again. Mara Mira part two. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hopefully we'll all, no, I know we'll all still be here next week. Yes, so. we will. Yes. See you guys next time. See ya. Okay. All right. So, me and Spencer have been talking about the new Olympiary tribe and what's going to go down with us. Okay. So, this week has been non-stop strategizing. Well, right after the challenge, actually, we all five original Marmier members met because Jake left after his confessional, which was dumb of him because we all sat there and said, yeah, easy vote, vote Jake. We don't need to meet. We're fine. And then the next day I met with Ryan. Like, Jake is definitely the easy vote, but if we keep Jake around, we decided that we'd actually have the next two votes safe, and then we'd just run the game after that. So our thought is try, we're trying to rope in Alex right now to vote either Kelly or Brooke. We're afraid if Alex has any, like, connection to Kelly or anything like that. No, she'll let on. So we think that it's better if we might go Brooke now, so then Brooke is out. Nick comes in for Brooke, and then for that next vote, that means we have Nick, me, Spencer, Jake on our side. Hopefully Jake stays loyal at that point. Originally I was like, all right, Jake's definitely a smart vote, but then I started thinking about what could happen after he's gone, mm -hmm. and right. it might be better for us to just keep him around. 
right now, so. Hello. Holy wow, okay. So much just happened. Yes, a lot. A lot. You guys are lucky we, we didn't start recording when we started talking because- You'd have, have two like, hours of footage. Yeah. So we had an obvious choice. Um, like all of us are ex Maramira except Jake. So at first we were like, oh, let's just vote Jake off. It's an easy vote, it's fine. But then when I met with Spencer, we thought about it and he suggested what if we save that vote for later because that's an easy vote off if we, ha if we lose again and go for somebody who might be a better choice for now. Obviously first thought is easy first vote Jake, but then we start thinking easy second vote Jake, amazing blindside Brooke. Yeah. We thought the biggest threat would probably be Brooke, so we don't... Like, I still don't know who she's meeting with or anything like that, so now it's gonna be me, Ryan, Kelly, and Spencer in a group of four, so. Alex and Kelly have been working together, and we called Kelly, and Kelly's in on it, and Ryan and I are pretty close. No matter who Brooke votes for, no matter who Jake votes for, we can get Brooke out. We FaceTimed with Kelly, and Kelly agreed. We then called Ryan, and Ryan pretended like we told him the plan when it was us that came up with the plan, which is great. But so Kelly, Alex, Ryan, and I are voting to vote Brooke out. Brooke's voting Jake. Jake's voting. It doesn't matter. Um, and then next week, Kelly and Alex think Ryan and I are still with them and that we'll vote out Jake or Nick. But Ryan and I have to decide if we're going to work with Nick and Jake to vote Kelly or Alex out. Yeah, so hopefully everything turns out well with this vote and Brooke is going to be voted out and it's really sad. I still don't want to vote anybody out, but I guess that's just what happens. This is what I wanted to do. This is the game I wanted to play. I wanted... Oh. Yeah, I'm playing the best game I can right now. I don't want this to get boring. I want... I want this to be Survivor, damn it. So this week's definitely been very challenging, not having uh, tribal immunity. So I'll be going to my first tribal council this Sunday. Um, it's been a very hectic week trying to meet with a bunch of people, figure out everyone's game strategy. Um, after the challenge, all of us kind of sat down together and we're like, all right, we're all just gonna vote. We're gonna take the easy vote, we're all just gonna vote for Jake. Obviously nothing can go easy in Survivor, so we had to all scramble individually and have conversations and try and figure out what's going on. So the first person I met with was Nick. Um, he's been my, kind of my partner in crime here for the beginning. My tie is Alliance, it's you. Yeah. Second. And then Alex would be after that, mm -hmm. and then it would have been Simon. But, but Simon went to Dubai. Um, they, Ryan and Spencer, want to work with me and Alex. Yeah. So Alex didn't tell them about our original four. Yeah. I think we should leave it that way. Oh yeah, because that's pretty much out the window at this point. Wanted to see what he was thinking, even though he's kind of on Exile Island and isn't officially a part of our tribe yet. Obviously I can't come to tribal and I don't get to vote, but I really think we should try to get Jake out. That way we're just back to our old tribe. I'm trying to set myself up in the best position to take control of the New World Period tribe when I come into the game. So my suggestion to her was this plan, and I thought this through. What needs to happen is we need to get all of our former Maramira tribe, those five, I need them to turn on Jake. Jake needs to be voted off, but I'm kind of concerned Jake might have an idol, and he would have every reason to play it, knowing that we're probably gunning for him. I want Kelly and Alex, who are an alliance, in an alliance with me, even though I don't really hold that alliance very seriously, I want them to vote for Brooke. I want Brooke, Spencer, and Ryan to all vote for Jake under the assumption that everyone is voting for Jake. As long as this happens, even if Jake plays an idol, Brooke's going home. No, Nobody that I'm technically working with. Nick and I met. We agreed that we should split the vote. We should go, of the five original Maramira, we should throw three at Jake, two at Brooke, and then if Jake plays the idol, Brooke goes home. Just because we don't want Jake's one vote to dictate who gets sent home. Let's see. So if you get every, if you get the five to agree to vote out Jake, correct. That's five votes. Yes. You and Alex split off and vote Brooke. Okay. That way, if you, um, if he does play his idol, if he doesn't, he's still gone. If he does play it, his vote doesn't matter because he'll be voting by himself. Right. And you guys still get rid of Brooke. 
um, which kind of leads me to my next conversation that I had with Jake. So Jake wanted to meet with everyone on the tribe because he is new, um, because he didn't know any of us at all. I mean, I'd appreciate the chance to just talk to everyone right. at least, just to see where everyone's at. Um, like I said, I like had pretty good relationships with everyone on the other tribe, because by the end of it, like, we were all pretty close. Like, even Autumn, like, we, like, Greg and Mitch wanted to keep her because they had a good relationship with her, so, like, everyone was kind of, like, close, whatever. So, like, I trust what they're telling me right now, but I'm just gonna tell you. No, I don't want to send us into, like, a spiral or something. So, Stephanie walked home with Autumn yesterday. Okay. And so, Stephanie told Autumn, like, I guess they were giving, like, each other the rundown or whatever, and Stephanie told Autumn, like, that they would have kicked you off first if they had the chance. Okay. And I don't know the exact reasons behind it, but, like, they were, like, everyone felt bad, like, from my old tribe, they were like, we're sorry you're all alone, and then Autumn was like, I just talked to Stephanie, see what, talk to Kelly, is what she said, like, see how she's doing. Okay. So I met with Jake, and he told me some inter interesting things, the first of which was that his old tribe mates um, had heard from Stephanie that they were all voting me out in the first time that we went to tribal. Um, I had never heard of that, obviously. Uh, I was a little bit shocked when I did hear that. It made me scramble a little bit. So Jake thought that we would make great allies because we were both the bottom of our tribes. I like how you know more about my tribe than me. I only know one thing. <laughs> okay, that's more than me. What? I'm curious who Stephanie was with, though, because that would be a good well, target for us. After Jake told me that, it told me two things, really. Either Stephanie's scrambling to gain trust and making things up, or maybe she's not making things up and people were gunning for me. And the other thing is, it showed me that Jake still has close ties with his old tribe, unless he's making the whole thing up. That's another scenario, is he's trying to get me on his team and his side of the vote and play the underdog card. Like, obviously your name's gonna come up, mm -hmm. because... Yes. I mean, it's an easy vote. Right. But nothing <coughs> that Survivor is supposed to be easy. <laughs> so... After that, right when I got home, I got a FaceTime from Spencer and Alex. So, trying to figure out if I should vote with them, because they're now proposing that we do a blindside and vote out Brooke and save Jake for another week if we go back to tribal. Um, but everything still kind of seems up in the air. It's a long time to strategize, and we've got about uh, two days left. So I guess we'll see what happens. Hey, hello, hello. Um, so I kind of wanted to meet. Um... I met with Jake. We all have the same plan to tell him nothing, less than nothing. Make sure that he thinks that he could be safe, but that we don't know what's going to happen. I think a big concern is that I am like Or Lapiri, original Or Lapiri, day or die, strong, never right. quit, like always, right. ever. I don't know. I'm just putting random words together. But and it's easy for us to say we want to vote you out so that we don't cause a rift, right? Because it's so early on. Like, who wants to make a move? Right. We now? haven't had to divide in any way so far so but that's easy it's and easy. this game doesn't have to be easy it shouldn't be easy this game shouldn't be easy you gotta entertain the viewers exactly. um i told him that i'd like to work with him but that he shouldn't bet on it like i said it is an easy vote to get you out mm -hmm. but it's not just gonna be us trying to fix that so i am also willing to hear you out mm -hmm. and willing to try to come up with a plan mm -hmm. but again my like allegiance is to my original track right right so i would want to talk with like ryan and um i told jake that i'll talk to ryan about keeping him which has been the plan the whole time um and then i told ryan that we should not tell him the plan to vote brooke that we should just tell jake he's safe we're not saying anything else if we saved you this week, mm -hmm. which is basically what it would be, like, trying to convince enough people to save you. Mm -hmm. Right. Would you be willing to, like, work with us further, I'm assuming? I'm like, telling you, you like, I would work with you, merge, final three, whatever, like, how big the group okay. is, like, I, I would be good with that. Because, like, honestly, like, that's all I was looking for in the other tribe, and I never had it. Okay, I think it makes sense to keep you in, honestly. Mm -hmm. It's not going to be an easy... It's um, not going to be an easy pitch, no, no, no. But, I think... I like it. I honestly am not against keeping you. Jake thinks that I'm trying to come up with a plan B when plan B is actually plan A, and Brooke still thinks we're voting Jake. I'm gonna put it out there. I'll put my neck out a 
little bit. Yeah, you don't have to go like full out. I understand no. like it's dangerous. Like keeping Jake in the <laughs> minor. No, I will. I'll throw it out there and see like what the feel is mm-hmm. because like if everyone's so dead set like nationalistic set on voting you out, like there's nothing I can actually right, do. Right, right. But if and there's, there's like a window, or... if there's a window, I'll try to open it. Okay. Because I think that's gonna be better in the long run. The meeting with Spencer seemed fairly beneficial, but um, I don't know. After I left the meeting, I just got a feeling like he was just telling me what he wanted to know or what I wanted to hear. I don't know. Like, he's really not in a position where it would make sense to go with me, even though he was telling me that he liked the idea of working with me. So why on earth would he ever swap? I don't know. I don't really think he was being completely honest with me, and I feel like I just left Greg from Orla Piri, and he just got replaced by the same guy, just with more people under him. <laughs> and the sad part is, I can't, like, unless I'm feeling super desperate, I can't point that out, because what if Spencer's being genuine, and he actually is trying to help me? So I'm kind of back and forth on how that meeting went, but the one with Alex, I think, went really well. So, like, I'm definitely getting, like, good vibes from you. You seem like one of the more genuine people on the Maramir team as a general and as on our new yeah. thing. Like, I can definitely tell that you're playing this game like with some attention. Oh, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I'm also getting good vibes from you. Like, I appreciate your openness and like, I feel like you're also being genuine and honest. And I do definitely see the advantage of keeping you. I thought like we were having a really good, like a good connection, like, potentially could work together for a while like we both value trust in this game i definitely don't want to be like pushing a specific person or anything like if there's someone that you guys feel more comfortable sending home like i'm good with whoever i just really appreciate that you guys are like at least attempting something which i really appreciate because <laughs> after the challenge give you a shot. Like, I, yeah, I just yeah. want to write you off so and i appreciate that i can imagine how you feel right now <laughs> so yeah like i said i don't want to stir the pot too much right. but if like me and spencer think that way and like other people are still on the fence then There'll probably be a nice, healthy debate. Yeah, well, which is, which is nice. As long as there's like a little bit of question, I'm like, yeah. just to, to attempt, try, yeah. try me out. Yeah. Um, so best case scenario, Alex and Spencer are both being honest. I'm going back and forth between complete pessimism and just like hope. I've met with everyone and I can't just keep meeting with people because I have to give them time to meet with each other. And I just feel like my entire game has been dependent on what everyone else wants to do. I feel like I've had no say at all, and I don't necessarily want to be like the control freak, the puppet master who tell who controls what's going on. It just sucks that literally like every week I felt like I've had no, like I'm just hoping that people go my way. Like I haven't done anything. I, as long as it's not me and I got a group, I'm good. That's been my motto. Not me yeah. and a group. <laughs> hey, okay. <laughs> yeah. So. All right, so it's been a, uh, a busy week, as you can see. Got the idol with me for the first time uh, that I've been playing this game, which is awesome. Uh, there's no better feeling than that than, uh, than being safe, especially after going to three straight tribals. That was absolutely awful. He's awful. happy with us. Yeah, you see, can do, see, do you see the face. smile? Yeah. <laughs> he's smiling, like he's having a good time. We're the cool parents. He's hanging yeah, out with us nice. for the weekend. <laughs> so just to recap, tribe swap comes and Honestly, the draw couldn't have worked out much better for me. I looked around and it's it's my tribe, you know? It's, it's So we've got myself and Greg, I'm like, okay, that's all I care about, one, two, and then I'm like, okay, Autumn and Allison, okay. I'm like, Simon and Stephanie, and I knew that Simon and Stephanie are, you know, allies of Nick and whatnot, but more importantly, like, I think they're like, you know, really good competitors in whatever challenges we have coming up. All right, so we got we got kind of a lot to cover here. So I'm so excited to hear your story. First of all, so right after we won immunity, like phrase phrase yellow, um, we started walking back in our you know different directions, right? And then as soon as Greg and Allison split off, Simon kind of pulled me aside real quick. He goes, "Hey, so what's the deal with your tribe?" Like I'm like. Dude, okay. Oh, right. Like right away, I'm just like, okay. Mitch talked to uh, to Simon, and I guess Simon was trying to pick his brain immediately. Hey, what's the tribe dynamic? You know, who are you tight with? Who who do we want to get? And I guess Simon proposed me, Mitch, Steph, and him, uh, and, and Simon as a four to take out Autumn and Allison. Obviously, I don't want to do that. That sounds horrible. Uh, I trust Autumn and Allison, so there's no way I want to take them out over over Simon and Steph. So I think that's a really solid four. So 
Who do you think should go first? Damn! <laughs> and, I'm like, and I'm like, can you believe this? I, don't, I was like, <laughs> he's, he's been hanging out with bad influences. Yeah, um, that kind of hurt my feelings. I mean, okay, well, if you look at it from his perspective, he hasn't lost yet, so like he, he doesn't know it. what it's like to you know go through all those tribals and like build trust and stuff. So he's like, all right, like yeah, it's us. It doesn't like, work like that. So. <laughs> you guys it's have no history. Like, yeah. You haven't oh, seen Simone. the world like we've seen the world. Yeah, I know. It's we, we've seen things. Yeah. <laughs> PTSD. I can't go back. <laughs> I can't see wanting to vote out Allison, Mitch, or Autumn here uh, before before Simon and Stephanie because I would like to work with them pretty deep in the game. I mean, we're at a point now down uh, R5, including Jake, to, to Mara Miri's, or the old Mara Miri's 8. And so we need to work together to go far. We can't start branching off and coming after each other because then we're just going to get picked off one by one by one. The more Mara Mirror we keep around, like if one of us goes home and like more Mar like original Mara Mirror stays around, like we, we, we need each other to go for it. Yeah, or else we're just going to get picked off because, yeah, like, like you said, we're just going to yeah. be way down in numbers. My first instinct is to vote off Simon if we lose first. Um, because I want to keep the original world period together, myself and Greg, obviously. So ideally, if we got Simon out first, that would still leave us with you know one alliance member of Nyx and one less threat and in individual immunity. The thing is now I got I've got to play both sides. That, that's the biggest thing for me is I have to act like I'm going to be working with Simon and Stephanie, right? Because you know Nick told them that I'm going to work with them. Nick, no. Why why would I get rid of my trip? Here's the thing, Nick. If I keep your allies around, and then we do merge, and then it's you know, you know, you, Simon, Stephanie, me, and Greg, who's gonna get knocked out first? Me and Greg. Come on. All right. All right. So, okay. You so, and um, you went home with Simon. I went home with Stephanie, and I was the only one to walk that way. So we had a very long walk down to the TV. So, Autumn had said that she walked home with Stephanie and I guess Stephanie is a talker and uh, she gave Autumn a lot of information on you know what who what people were working together it sounds like uh, Ryan Nick Simon and Stephanie were were a four on that other tribe which I assume leaves uh, Spencer Alex Brooke and Kelly as the other four assuming they're they're a four too they never had to make a decision so it's tough to tough to know what what was going on but they seem to be a four she said like how they had that thing going on and she said the thing about how, like, if they were going to vote anyone out, it was going to be Kelly. Um, which is why we told Jake, like, aim for Go Kelly. Kelly. So if we do happen to lose, which honestly, I'm feeling pretty good about our group, but if we were to lose, I would like to take out Simon first because he's going to be a threat post-merge. He's big, he's physical. Not that any of us know Simon all that well, but we are all a little sketched out by him. Just, he seems sneaky. I don't really know what it is. He's just got that got that vibe to him that he's you know he's a gamer which is great for survivor but it's not good for me i need people that aren't gamers that way i can win uh, yeah so that's my update um i feel like stephanie is more of like an asset to have just because she is willing to spill all the beans like yeah. that like simon's yeah. a more i think a bigger threat too yeah yeah i mean it's it's good to get the win me and the idol are gonna party it up uh we've we've got one one beer down already. We split that, so so we're we're doing good. Just watched the Indians lose after a, a 22 game win streak. That was kind of depressing, but hey, Survivor's looking up. So there's never never a dull moment with the Idol and I. Isn't that right? Yeah. But all right. Till next time. Are you sick of me yet? <laughs> we're back. It's us. <laughs> I've been trying to get to know Spencer a little bit um and like I knew him before this but like barely like when I say I know him I like knew his name like that's pretty much it um so I've been like trying to figure out a way to contact him without being like weird about it but then he contacted me Spencer reached out first so props to him um I was actually thinking about doing it for a little while so I'm glad he did we were planning on meeting up before or before the tribe squad but after tribe squad it works even better because they know that I'm still talking to Stephanie and Simon, or that someone is, but they have no idea that Autumn is talking to me. And Autumn laid out every single thing that I needed to know about their tribe, showing every tribal council, every power dynamic, who's in the front, who's next on the chopping block. She told me that she talked to her tribe about maybe trying to keep Stephanie and vote out Simon if they have to go to a vote. Um, which makes me feel better because I'm closest, closer to Stephanie than it was Simon and can trust her for a little bit longer. We spilled every relationship 
I walked him through every single tribal that I've had, which is probably like honestly not the best idea, but like I trust you, so and I trust you. If so I don't I win, I want you to win. You're my number two, so like final two. There you go. So, do I think that this is smart in the moment? I don't know. And then um, Autumn put on her Greek life windbreaker, and she has her letters right here, A G D. And I know that that's Stephanie's sorority. And he's smart. He's the only one. I was stupid because no one has caught on to this. I wore my AGD letters. Because who remembers what sorority you say you're in? Like, no one. He does. This guy. So, I now know that Stephanie and Autumn share a bunk bed. We do. And she told me that they are in the same sorority. Not only that, they live in the same house. Not only that, they share a room. Not only that, they share a bunk bed. People are probably going to think that I'm dumb for this, too. I wore my AGD, like, rain jacket to meet with Spencer after he was on the same team with Stephanie, which I didn't think that he would remember Stephanie's sorority in my defense. So I still trust Stephanie to tell me things in due time, but she tells Autumn everything first. And now that I'm friends with Autumn, like, I can skip a step and just know everything Stephanie knows. Uh. When Stephanie um, was, like, talking to me earlier, she said that it was like her, Ryan, Nick, and Simon, and then they were kind of like pulling you in as their fifth, and they were going to kind of get rid of you whenever anyways. What? Yeah. Oh my, I have not heard anything about Nick or Simon in any of this. Yeah, so they had like a little like four thing going on. Because I know that like there was a few times she literally like left the house to go meet with those other three people, so I know it wasn't just like a made up thing in her head. Autumn told me last night on the phone that Stephanie, Ryan, Stephanie and Ryan have been working with Simon and Nick and calling me their fifth. That's not going to work for me. I don't like that at all. So I'm, I'm staging a coup. We, we don't know who Brooke is working with, so that's why we're like, get her out now. If she's working with Nick, it's easier to get her out now. Or we stage a coup and get Ryan out right now. Whoa. Yeah. That would be insane. I'm going to Kelly and Alex, and we're voting Ryan out. And then me with Jake and telling him I have to vote Ryan or Brooke, because Jake really trusts me, and I want this to go my way, and welcome to my game now. I brought you here because I've been working all day, all weekend, to make sure that you are safe, and it is official, you are safe. So it is like an hour before tribal. I just met with Spencer and it felt like he was being completely honest with me. And I think he is fighting for me, which is really nice. I'm hoping what he's saying is true. I don't want to get too confident because I feel like that's never a good idea, but I'm much more hopeful than I was after we lost the challenge. Yeah, we had a plan and it got thrown up in the air at the last minute. And I was able to catch it all and put it back where it's supposed to be. Do I feel bad about voting out Ryan? Kinda, but he lied to me too many times, and this is what he gets. I told him straight up, anything that happens tonight is your fault. You did it to yourself. Yeah. Um, someone is going to be very, very upset about this. No one that we have to work with right now, but the person getting out will not be happy. Right. And it's better that we did this now, because this person will hold a grudge going into finals and into merge, and... I told Jake he will be probably messed up a little bit. He's not going to know what's going on. And I feel bad, but this is for the best. This is for the best my game. You're going to be confused tonight. That's fine. I'm used to My life is, it was, uh, your life is usually saved. a constant state of confusion. So um, We can debrief afterwards yeah, yeah. Um, with a few people. Everyone's going to know what's going on except for you and one other person. Okay. What I need you to do tonight is vote for me. Okay. Because... Easy. I'm kidding. <laughs> because... That's safer for you in the okay. sense that if you write down someone's name who we're not all targeting, and that person's still in the game after tribal, that draws a line in the sand for you, and they'll have a target on you for no reason. Um, I'm gonna follow the plan as best I can. I'm gonna put Spencer's name down. This vote's kind of out of my hands. It's what everyone else can do, so it seems fitting that I don't even vote for the person that's going home. Whatever. At least I'm not going nowhere. After this vote, you'll see where lines are physically right. drawn instead of like in the air right now yeah where a lot of it's some people think it's like this people think it's like this but it's really like <laughs> just this. a big scribble yeah and then after tonight you'll see hey oh it's us hey. 
and I just told Brooke that we want to make a move. Yeah, we're making a move. I'm really nervous and upset yeah. now. Like, woke up I, I woke up this morning, the sun is shining, this is great, Jake's going home, it's going to be 5 to 1, I'm going to have zero votes. And knock, then, knock, knock at 2 p.m., it's me, hey. You might go home. <laughs> Ryan, Kelly, Alex, and I were planning on voting Brooke and keeping Jake and then voting Jake next week, but instead, we're going to make a move, we're voting Ryan. <gasps> I'm, so, I'm so angry, but I'm so shook. I'm, I will write his we name got down. This. Ryan. Voting Ryan. Ryan. Voting Ryan. Ryan. Promise. We're voting Ryan. <laughs> I have Kelly on board, Brooke on board, Alex on board. We're all voting for Ryan. And Ryan's voting for Brooke, and Jake is voting for me. And unless everyone's going behind my back right now, I feel 100% safe in my girls. I woke up this morning, sun is shining, last thing I heard was from Ryan, everybody is voting for Jake, it's an easy vote. Wow, it's been such a day. I went from waking up this morning thinking it was going to be a 5-1 vote. Jake was going home. I'm just definitely really nervous now, especially that I know that, you know, at least one person's going to be writing down my name, if not more. So, however, Spencer then came to me and tells me this whole plan is Ryan's idea to send me home and that we want to vote Ryan, so I'm like, okay. I feel like he's trying to play this way harder than it needs to be. Yeah. Okay. If he's going to change right. who he wants to vote for and who he wants to talk to every six, six minutes, times. we yeah. that's not what we need to do for this game in order to yeah. stay strong and win. So, so the plan us... So, now to vote Spencer out. Yes, because at this point, three would be enough because the boys have all split their vote. Ryan be voting for me, Spencer's voting for Ryan, and then whoever Jake votes for, um, that's split enough that our three votes would be enough to take out Spencer, and he wouldn't see it coming. I'm definitely writing down Spencer's name. I think he's tried way too hard to play this game, and what should have been a quick, easy vote, he's gone and changed the plan three or four different times at this point, at least, that I know of, but, um, I'm putting a lot of trust in Kelly and Alex and trusting them to vote Spencer and that this isn't some even more elaborate blindside to where I'm blindsiding. Spencer thinks we're blindsiding Ryan, but in reality they're blindsiding me and I think we can pull it with three. Girl power. <laughs> right. Yeah, so going into tribal, three of us are all voting together for Spencer. Spencer. For Spencer. Yeah. Plan is set. That's our plan. Plan is set. I think everyone's gonna leave this tribal um, pretty shocked because Ryan doesn't know anyone's writing down his name. And then Spencer's gonna be completely blindsided and hopefully three will be enough to send him home. So with that, I'd like the five old Marmira members to please come up to this table. And each of you approach a candle. Okay. In front of each of you is a candle. If you'd like to ignite your candle, give each of you fire. As long as you have fire, you are still in this game. When your fire is out, so are you. With that, you guys can all go take a seat at the bench. Spencer, Ryan, Alex, Brooke, Kelly, welcome to your first tribal council. Jake, on the back, for the time. Maybe you can show these guys the ropes. Anything they need. Awesome. Cool. So, this is where the game's actually played, right? You can say all you want about challenges. 
But if you never attend a tribal council, you never know where your loyalties actually lie. And at the end of this game, you have to get people to vote for you out of respect and the trust or the alliances that you build with them. So going to tribal isn't necessarily a bad thing. I don't want you to see it as that. But for one of you tonight, it's not the greatest, right? So I want to start out with a little question and answer for you guys. Kelly, this is not the same Oil Fury tribe that has been here three straight times. I've always said, Oil Fury, welcome to Tribal Council. Three times now I've said that. But the only person who has heard it four times now is Jake. So talk about the dynamic of this new group being Oil Fury. I think we all hate the orange, so I'll start off by saying that. Um, it was different, you know, switching tribes, um, figuring out who you should be talking to, who you're not talking to. I know Jake wanted to reach out with a lot of us. Um, he did a really good job of trying to get involved and talk to a lot of different people in the tribe. So he was definitely like an active member of this new Oral of Fury, um, which definitely made things challenging, um, trying to figure out, do we stay strong with five? Does Jake have an advantage somewhere? Um, so it was definitely hard after the tribe swapped to come here immediately because none of us had been here. But we do hate the orange. On day one, let's dive into the challenge. Day one and the challenge, that note that Raphael reads. You guys probably thought it was about something entirely different, right? Well, in this game, it's all about paying attention to details and speculating what those details could actually mean for you down the road. So did it surprise you, Brooke, to see what that note actually was referring to with this challenge? I'm not, like, surprised. Like, I've seen Survivor before. Like, they do memory challenges, but it's just, like, it's more frustrating because you're like, I should have known that's what they meant. And instead, you're just so focused on, like, meeting new people and, like, possible idol clues and other people looking for idol clues and there's like so much going on that you just kind of like forget that that's like oh I should be counting like the number of ceiling fans right now. Right. So little details, right? Yeah. And so on the other tribe you had people who obviously knew those details. There was 17 and 9. So they might have gotten on the good side of the slot with people who were paying attention to those little details. So Spencer when you reached into that urn and you picked out the chip and you saw who you're with What's your first thought? My first thought is, God bless, at least five of us are here. It could have been worse. I could have been Simon. I could have been the Jake of the other tribe. I could have been royally fucked and sitting here with strangers that I don't know and having to play this mad scramble. Someone like me, I promise I'm funny and I promise I can help you with character and while still trying to play the long game and play, play the strategic game and like trying to say that you are useful now but won't be a threat later but trying to pretend like you are a threat like knowing that you are a threat later but it's it'd be too much so I'm thankful for the people I have right here because these are the people that I right now been forced and glad to trust so Jay points you out as someone who might have been screwed over by this swap. You're the only original Oil Piri on this new Oil Piri tribe. So what was your reaction to seeing the tribe that you were born with? Um, at first I was extremely nervous because I said, okay, I'm obviously a minority right now. So I mean, in that way, yeah, it's really nerve wracking because I mean, I'm obviously a target. But on the other hand, like I was definitely like losing my connections on the other side, like my trust with those connections. I mean, I was towards the bottom of that alliance. Like, it it was bad in the way that I'm in a dangerous position now, but I think it's also really going to help my game because I'm meeting new people who potentially could be a lot better allies to me later on. So, it's, it's a little bit of both. A lot of nerves. And Ryan, Jake talks about being the one over here guy. So, it's the elephant in the room, right? It could be very easy just to say, hey, Let's just go against Jake, and we'll duke it out from here on out. But is it that easy? It's not, because you have to just weigh all the options you can. You don't want to go make a decision automatically that you don't think about the rest. You think about what else could happen. So it's definitely something that you have to sure you walk out of the challenge and just go, well, looks like we need to vote on this, but you just take some time and think about everything. So what do we do? So on the flip side, Jake. We talk about tribal lines. Tribal lines are very arbitrary. We assign those to you at the beginning, and you can take them one of two ways. You can be that I'm loyal to this group the whole way through, or you can just look at it and be like, oh, I got placed on this tribe, no big deal. Maybe I'll work with people on the other tribe, maybe I'll work with people here. But they're very arbitrary lines. 
So then what is your pitch to these people who are not on your side before? I mean, I could go on forever. I have the longest pitch of so many things. Um, I guess to not repeat myself. So remember what I said earlier. But um, you have to realize that in the same way that there's going to be some tribe lending on this tribe, there's going to be some tribe lending on the other tribe. They're going to be working Stephanie, Simon, whoever was willing to work with them because they know that they're in the bottom of the So I'm telling you, honestly, like I did not feel super comfortable after the last tribal, like going forward with them. I do kind of appreciate this opportunity. So, I mean, you have to realize it's not going to be black and white or Maravira or period. Eleanor. Eleanor. So then Alex, are you thinking about long term or short term with this vote then? With this vote, I feel like it's a healthy blend of both, but I am thinking like after this week, I'm definitely going to be on the long term. What about you, Brooke? I think I would agree. This is definitely a, definitely a big move that's probably going to get made, I think. Uh, you could look at it, there's an easy, you could have a five one vote, or you could put someone out with two votes, or three votes, or four votes. And that is something that's kind of short term, just because it's so unexpected and with a variety of numbers and a variety of names being thrown out there this week. And you can take that, but hopefully, like the short term goal plays a huge benefit in the long term. So I love asking this question at everyone's first travel council. Who is legitimately nervous that this could be their last time in the game? Five of you are wrong. <laughs> Five of you are wrong. One of you is right. That, Kelly, go on to vote. <laughs> All right, Spencer, um, you just played too big of a game, too hard, and hopefully with this vote, we blindside the blindsider. Sorry, Brooke. Hopefully your dog can comfort you when you get back home. I trusted you for so long, and I found out too much this week. Thanks for being a pal. I'll follow orders. Please keep me around longer, I beg you.
told you, I don't like boring games. We made it a little bit interesting. If I look at people's faces, some people are surprised. And that's a split vote. Some people are going to be shocked. I'm very curious to know what the aftermath of this vote is. You guys got a challenge in one hour. You got a little bit to mend some fences. And we'll go right into that challenge and see how this crowd moves on. With you five and Nick moving forward with that, you guys can head on out. Beyond shocked, I thought I manipulated this vote so that I was safe. Um, I don't trust Ryan. They shouldn't trust Ryan. I told them everything that they need to know. I guess it was wrong of me to try to make something happen right away. I'm very shocked. <laughs> Spencer, this one's for you. I think you're an awesome person, but it's way too early in the game to be a puppet master. We're not your pawns. I think you're a really great guy, it's super funny, but you play this game really hard and I feel like this is the best decision for right now. Best of luck to them, I hope. Um, good luck to Autumn, she's been working close with me and has been the most honest. Um, every single person told me that they're on board with me and the only way I thought I was going home is if they were all working behind my back. And that's exactly what happened. Best of luck to Autumn and Jake. Mara Mira. See you later.